With only eight days to go until the widely anticipated government shutdown, no one's really budging. It is a train wreck. It has to go. So what I've said is, I will not negotiate over the full faith and credit of the United States. Friday, the House passed a spending bill that cut all funding from the president's health care law while keeping the government running through mid-December. The hope from House Republicans is that this spending bill will pass in the U.S. Senate, which is extremely unlikely, as the Washington Post puts in no uncertain terms. It stands zero chance of winning passage. None. Zilch. That's because the Senate is run by Democrats, who will most likely pass a spending bill that does not defund Obamacare. And the hot potato that holds our government's future will head back to the House for another vote. And if House Republicans still don't budge, the government will run out of money by September 30th. You know, I proposed an idea that kept the government operating and, and open for an entire year while delaying and defunding Obamacare for a year. We don't want to shut down the government. I want to make it clear, we want to shut down Obamacare. If both sides can't work out an agreement, the public is left wondering what to expect from a shutdown. As CNN's Gene Zahadi writes, it depends on how stubborn Congress is. A few days might cost the economy two-tenths of a percentage point of annualized growth during the fourth quarter. That's the economic equivalent of a smidge. If a shutdown runs for three or four weeks, that would do significant economic damage. And as the LA Times points out, House Republicans have little incentive to compromise. According to ratings, only 28 of the House's 233 Republicans have even a theoretical chance of losing their seats to a Democrat next year. The other 205 are safe as long as they win their primaries. Then again, Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul sounded a little less confident over the weekend, telling a gathering in Michigan, we probably can't defeat or get rid of Obamacare. A recent CNN poll says only a third of Americans would blame Barack Obama for a government shutdown, while another 50% would blame Republicans. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.